Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to share you this massive pile of puzzles. Woo! I stepped on my pet. You okay? <laughs> um, you shouldn't be hiding behind me. Um, so I'm an adult and I was left unsupervised. So I bought a whole lot of puzzles <laughs> in the last couple of weeks so i wanted to show you these ones um let's start with the first one putting the pile back a bit so the first one my fiance actually bought this one it's a clementoni puzzle let's see if i can put this a little bit more here it's a clementoni puzzle it's a three thousand piece puzzle and I believe it's called, let's see, Moonlit Wild. It's an Italian puzzle. Uh, we bought this when we were on holiday. Uh, it's a really nice motive. Uh, wolves, other animals. I really love this sky. It's nice purple, has wolves in them. So, I'm quite excited for this one, but we still have a lot of puzzles left to do. You know, you always buy puzzles, even though you still have puzzles to do. So, this one is a Ravensburger puzzle. It's 1,000 pieces. Um, if you, you can see that the plastic is already off this puzzle because we got this from our mother-in-law and we actually did it at her house and I'm still quite awkward around filming somewhere else than my living room and my cat agrees <laughs> um, so we already did this one and it was actually so fun that we decided that this is maybe the first puzzle that we're going to do again because normally we don't really do puzzles again but this one was so much fun it is called in German Katzenfreundschaft English is pretty kitties and then I only speak Dutch so that's Katzenfreundschaft even though pretty kitties and Katzenfreundschaft and Katzenfreundschap is totally something different from each other. So, because Katzenfreundschap and Katzenfreundschap is pretty much a cat friendship. So, I'm quite confused about the English name. But it is a really nice puzzle. Thousand pieces. So, the Clementoni we bought full price for i think 35 euros then the ravensburger one um she actually bought it with us in the store it was on clearance for 10 euros then i bought this one and i'm sorry for the glare but outside the sun is shining and i cannot find a different uh setup for filming so um this one is a jumbo or jumbo puzzle it's from the Pix collection. Uh, it's 1,000 pieces and I bought this one on clearance as well. It was on clearance for 6 euros. I bought this one for my fiancé's birthday. I gifted him, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 puzzles this year. Um, the big um, present that I bought him was the Travel 13... 1500 piece puzzle uh, the journey of the thousand miles which I did an unboxing on I think a couple of weeks ago because it came quite early um, so that's this is the second one um, I thought it was quite cute because I'm into cartoons really uh, and I mean Finding Nemo, Ratatouille um cars and stuff like that is quite fun so i thought it was uh nice to include um then this is the only one we did not 
buy new even though it has plastic i went to the thrift store and i bought it for one euros and 15 50 cents uh it's a 1000 piece puzzle it's a map of the port of rotterdam um my fiance is really into cards of roads and stuff like that so i thought it was quite fun and for when you're on 50 cents you at least know it's still in the plastic so if it's incomplete it's not a thrift store's fault then continuing i have this one which is also a clementoni it's a disney one it's uh with the panorama uh i got this one on clearance as well we have a toy store near us and they often have clearance puzzles. So I got this one for five euros. And you know, I'm always happy with a cheap puzzle. So on the back, you can see it has like the puzzle cut. And let's look if this one has a name. I don't know if all, all them have a name so the original price was 15 euros i got it for five they took off the sticker um i don't think this one has a name really but it's the mickey mouse panorama from clementoni 1000 pieces okay so this one is quite special it's also a jumbo puzzle but if uh, you know like the Jan van Haastring, this really busy strip type of um, puzzles. This one is actually a limited edition because it's for a supermarket called Poise. Uh, they were 100 years and they brought out this Jan van Haastring puzzle. And uh, it's basically just branded with stuff from the supermarket, like bags and other logos and like the, the stuff you can buy, which I thought was quite fun for 15 euros. Um, it is like a supermarket that is quite um, regional, I think. I'm pretty sure they don't have it all over the Netherlands, but um, it was quite fun. <laughs> and uh we have not tried any other than the cat one then i bought this one for my fiance as well it is christmas puzzles and i know it's not even near christmas but i'm a big christmas lover and um when we first started dating i bought a christmas puzzle which we were going to do for Christmas and then we ended up never doing it and while moving a couple of times I cannot find it anymore so I thought it was quite fun to have new Ravensburger puzzles um, Christmas edition um, there are two in this box of I don't remember the price i think 10 euros i pen paid 10 euros for this so basically five euros per puzzle so i didn't know that they still made two of them in one box but it's santa christmas house um i guess both of them are called that so i thought it was quite fun oh i really love christmas can't wait <clears throat> and then we have one more which is also a ravensburger puzzle and i also bought this for my fiance's birthday it's a cherry blossom time um he told me that he really liked this puzzle a couple of times when we went to the store so i finally bought it <laughs> for his birthday um let's see we have kirschenblüten kirschenbaum in bluey and cherry blossom time so um i guess those make more sense um yeah i'd say so um 
so that's quite fun. Um, so I am still working on the second video for the 5,000 piece puzzle as we haven't been puzzling a lot lately. So that will be coming soon. So if you're really into puzzling like we are, um, maybe consider subscribing. Uh, I do make videos now on the puzzles that we're doing, even though I don't make time lapses. I like to just puzzle in peace, then give you a tiny update to show you what our difficulties were or what we're working on, where we're uh, at and how long I do time, stuff like that. So if you're really into puzzling and like seeing any of these puzzles, then feel free to subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video.